Earth with darkness and water. Then the Spirit of God hovered over the water and God said, Let there be light. There was light. God saw that the light was good. Then he divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, Let there be a great expanse of air. To divide the waters below from the waters above. Then God says, Let the water under the heaven be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it happened. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth produce grass, herbs, fruits, flowers, butterflies and trees. All in day after their own kind. And it happened. And God even created mountain. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the heavens. And let there be for signs and seasons. God made two great lights, the sun to rule by day and the moon to rule by night. He also made the stars. And he set them all in the heavens to give light upon the earth. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters abound with living creatures and let birds fly. <laughs> above the earth. So God created great fishes and everything that moves in the water and winged animals. And all these producing after their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And he blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth be filled with living creatures. So he made the animals cattle and everything that crawls upon the earth, all producing after their kinds, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul.
So God created man in his own image and he created them male and female. God named the first man Adam and then later Adam called the woman Eve. God placed Adam and Eve in the beautiful garden of Eden, where he visited them every day. The garden had beautiful trees with delicious fruits, everything a person would need to eat. Right in the middle of the garden, was the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will surely die. Both Adam and Eve lived happily enjoying the presence of their Creator. of knowledge of good and evil, saying that God did not want them to eat the fruit from this tree, because he knew very well that if they ate it, they would become like him. Eve then went against God's command. She ate the fruit and shared it with Adam too. Because of their disobedience, God was very angry. joy of being in the presence of the Almighty. Thus, sin came into existence on earth. Adam and Eve brought a curse on themselves and on the whole mankind thereafter. The earth was full of sin because the first command of the obedience of God was broken. Life was ruled by lies, hatred, jealousy, pride, adultery, stealing, killing and many more resulting in a great distance between man and God. There was no love, no peace and no hope for mankind. All this time, God remained silent and merciful towards his creation and waited for the appropriate time to reveal his love once again.
that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life.